Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and it's a little bit busy. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales. I go to estate sales. I go to thrift stores. I go to various whatnot auctions. Wherever I find stuff, I buy it, and then I sell it. Mostly I do that on eBay. That, that's the day job. Now, it used to be radio. Before that, it was a newspaper. Now it's selling other people's stuff out of my garage on the internet. And then I make videos like this and tell you about it. We make garage sale videos, estate sale videos, sometimes thrift hauls, stuff like that on this channel. So if you've not uh, been in before, thanks for giving us a shot. And if you're not subscribed, hit that button. There's a lot of people that watch this channel that are in fact not subscribed. So you hit that subscribe button and uh, commenting and the thumb and the bell, you know, any of that is uh, is beneficial to us as we work to grow the channel. But today we're gonna take a look at what sold in uh, in the last little bit out of my eBay store. Uh, garage sale video coming up soon, but as I've said in previous videos, it's a busy weekend here at the family, uh, here at the family, here at the mountain with the family. Um, I, I didn't get a lot of sleep and uh, the coffee has not kicked in yet. Um, it, Mountain Kid is graduating. Uh, she she made it. Yesterday was her last day of school. Uh, tomorrow is the graduation ceremony. Today we're setting up for uh, for a big shindig. And so lots of stuff going on. And uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to put together videos. So uh, thanks for hanging with us this week while things are a little bit sporadic. It's been busy. You know, I haven't even watched the finale of Ted Lasso yet. I mean, that's how busy we've been. I'm, I'm going to get that watched here before too long. But uh, we're, we're going to take a look at what sold out of the store. And just a couple to kick us off today. Not much going on at all. We've got a couple of Blu-rays, both of these going to the same buyer. We've got Batman Gotham Knight and the Death of Superman. Uh, combined six bucks plus shipping for those. Here we've got in the packaging a Fire Stick remote. Uh, these, not super high dollar, but they, they tend to sell pretty well. And it's all profit. I bought a box with multiple remotes and uh, units and stuff like that to in it, if you recall. This is the last thing out of it. I paid $5 for the box. Uh, this one sold for $8.95 plus shipping. This one, an international order. We've got Shadowverse Champions Battle for the Nintendo Switch. I accepted an offer on this one of 12 bucks plus international shipping headed to Chile. And then we've got Method Man. Got another one of our vintage vinyl heading out uh, in a bad condition on the album covers, but the records themselves have been in very nice shape. And so we are still able to sell those and paid a dollar for it. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, solid group. Heading out today. Some nice sales in here for sure. And we'll start off with the ducks. We've got two of these guys, twinsies, the laugh till you're crying emoji ducks and both of those picked up by rachel so rachel thanks so much for picking those up and getting your ducks in a row appreciate you so much we've got mad magazine this is a pretty popular cover on this one with the flag tooth this one is uh well you can see right there november 2001. I picked up a whole bunch of Mad Magazines and uh, comic books. I'm actually thinking of doing uh, a whatnot auction, or it would end up being several whatnot auctions with Mad Magazines. I've got too many to just sit and list them on eBay. And so I think we're going to bring them to whatnot, and we'll see how Mad does on whatnot. I actually have scheduled a vintage horror comic on whatnot as well. That's the only one that's scheduled, but that is up there if you want to go and check it out bookmark that and uh, we have more I, i've got a whole bunch of those horror comics i think we're going to do the same thing with those so uh, this one before i forget the uh the mad from 2001 989 plus shipping for that uh, we've got a couple other we've got several comics going out today these are older i've had these for 
I don't know, maybe a year or so. Uh, but relatively rare, Captain Britain. And here we've got, you can see from 1985, same buyer came in and picked up a couple of them. So this is number nine. Really neat, neat art. And then I like the cover on this one, number 10. And same buyer picked up two of them. I accepted offers on both. Uh, the total, 74 bucks plus shipping for those. Happy to get that. And then this guy, Top Cat, old Hanna-Barbera cartoon. This is Top Cat number one. So pretty cool. You can see it was a 15 cent cover. I don't know why 10 cents at some point somebody wrote that on there. Maybe the store put it on sale or I, I don't know. But Top Cat number one old comic. And that sold in about a day, $13.50 plus shipping. So comics going out today, and they came from this place. If you remember, we've sold a couple of Game Boys already. And I stopped at a sale and got four various Game Boys and different games for 25 bucks. And chatting with that guy after, uh, before I left, found out he had some other stuff that I would potentially be interested in. Uh, you know, is in, inside the house. And he said, hey, you know, let me get your number and I'll get a hold of you when I find it. Now, very often that doesn't actually happen. Uh, you know, they, they just, they move on with their life and they forget about it. But that's why business cards, I get a business card, guys. So, you know, I, I can get him the business card and say, look, this is me. He actually called me the next day, called me on Sunday and said, hey, I've got my comics out. And then on Monday, we set up a time. Monday, I went over there and I bought them. And so that's where Top Cat came from. That's where Mad came from. And uh, I think we ended up getting uh, in the neighborhood of 900, maybe 1,000 comics from him. And so a, a great deal. This was the best Game Boy out of the bunch that we got. It's the Pokemon edition. And I didn't even realize it when, when I got it um, because there was tape. There was like electrician's tape over Pokemon over this, over Pikachu, over the ball. Like, I thought the tape was holding it together, is, is what I thought was going on. But I got home and looked and realized the tape was just covering up the characters. I, I don't know why they did that. Didn't like Pokemon, I guess, when uh, whenever the kid had this thing. But uh, I, I like it because it's sold already. $95.99 plus shipping. We got here. This one is probably two years old. Connect Ease. It's a 12 volt lawn tractor or trolling motor kit. I got it for super cheap, and so you know, new and sealed. One picture, two picture. You know, very easy. Actually, I think I took a couple extra pictures of this one, but that's all you would have had to have done is two pictures, and it did eventually sell. Had to find it in a bin because it had been sitting there. For a while, but twenty-two dollars thirty-nine cents plus shipping for that. We've got a viewer sale. And that we got a Sonic the Hedgehog little plush. I got this guy and uh, I think Tails. We listed at the same time as well. But this guy nine dollars ninety-eight cents free shipping, and it's headed over to Brian. And Brian said, if we could wish Eli a happy birthday. Well, yeah. We'll do that, Eli. Happy birthday. I don't know if this is birthday present, but uh, Brian said uh, happy he could finally get something out of the mountain. And uh, Eli, truly, I wish, uh, I wish you the best birthday. I hope everything goes well for you. Hope you get everything you want. I got Bionicle. If you want Bionicle, I have more of these. Just, uh, just talk to Brian. Um, <laughs> this guy. This is all profit now. Uh, or mostly profit. We sold one in a box, remember, for $65. That was the purchase price of all the Bionicles we got at a garage sale. So after you take out fees and stuff, you know, it wasn't quite 65 This pushes us over. So part of this pays off the buy. Part of this is now profit. And so we got a bunch of these that came in little tubes. This one is Toaniwa. Or, uh, I don't know. Lego Bionicle. Pretty good, guys. This one sold for $25.59, I believe, plus shipping. And we got one more. Had it in the back. Don't want to forget that. 
We got Mass to Kill, a no sad date. Another one of our vinyl records that uh, the outside, a little bit rough, but the vinyl itself in pretty good shape. And I accepted an offer on this guy of 63 bucks plus shipping. I actually have one more. I forgot to bring it over. Let me go grab it. And just like that, there he is. I uh, accepted a lower offer on this guy. It's an old Johnny West figure. Obviously, he's in need of repair. The legs need reattached down there. But even in this condition, uh, they're uh, not rare. They're scarce. Let's say they're a little bit scarce. And uh, so they do have some value to them. But, you know, it was just something that's been sitting around for a little bit. I'm ready to get it out. I had it listed around $19, but I accepted an offer of 10 plus shipping just to move it along and we'll add another one because it came in while i was packing and super easy it just goes into a padded envelope we've got mortal Kombat versus the dc universe for the xbox 360 it sold for 4.99 plus shipping still packing but another one came in early and well i guess i'm just in the mood to get stuff out right away tomorrow's gonna be busy we're decorating tomorrow being friday as i'm recording this we're decorating for uh mountain kids graduation party so anything i can get out this morning ahead of time is going to be helpful uh, some damage on the back or not damage but just wear uh, another of our game boys the last game boy game boy pocket the clear version took an offer of 40 dollars plus shipping all right getting a jump start on friday's mail because we're going to be very busy getting ready for a graduation party tomorrow getting decorated and all set up for that so i'm trying to ship a little bit early and uh, i think this will be the final bit that we'll put on this video and then uh, the rest of friday and through the weekend will be on the next what sold but we've had uh, quite a few things sell actually already today and one of them is this i actually just listed this today fire and fury in the age of conan Number one, this is Red Sonia, She Devil with a Sword. Keep an eye out for Red Sonia. Definitely a collector's base for that. This one sold for $9.98 plus shipping. We've got Weird Al. I think I grabbed the right album. I got to double check and make sure I grabbed the right album. I had multiple Weird Owls. This might be the last one, though. Polka Party. I think that's the one that sold. Uh, Mr. Al, $4.49. Plus shipping. We've got some Flintstones glasses from Hardee's. Really cool. The first 30 years, that's on the back of all of them. So we got a scene there with Bam Bam and Barney. There we got going to the movies at the old drive in. What's back here? We got Fred. Oh, look at that. He got a little prehistoric rattle and i'm not sure what they're doing there are they out trying to hunt dino and dino's gonna trap them i'm not sure what's happening in that one but we've got four glasses there and i uh, actually got these from a viewer i got these from uh, rachel and rachel actually the uh the winner of one of our recent charity auctions i keep forgetting to mention that and uh, then she gave us some stuff, and most of it uh, to put in one of our vintage market shows. But I thought, you know what, I think I can list these online. And uh, you couldn't get a lot for them because of shipping price. It's going to be heavy by the time I package all of them up. But uh, we got a little bit. So uh, go check out the store. Uh, definitely some neat stuff in there and uh, another Montana reseller. So go support the 406 and uh, thanks again for the glasses 1763 plus shipping for those super cool i'm excited somebody's going to get those I, th I think they're very neat here we've got well let's move that i got that sitting on top because i have actually have a shirt i got to show you that here in a second uh, mad magazine the lord of the rings so there you go mad magazine always irreverent right this is actually a pretty popular cover for them i sent out an offer on this one i think it would have sold uh, full price but uh, i sent an offer of i think 50 cents off and it sold 948 free shipping so uh, a few bucks certainly left at the end of that 
we've got for the Xbox 360, Halo Combat Evolved, the Anniversary Edition. This thing sells pretty well. We've sold this a couple of times now. Uh, $9.98 plus shipping for that. Ducks Unlimited. I think we just picked this one up for a dollar. Still got the tag on there. And uh, this, the Blaze Orange or Hunter's Orange. This sold for $9.98 plus shipping. We've got Bionicle, another one of these guys going out. This one, the little green guy. Again, this is all profit now on those Bionicles. $19.19 plus shipping. And then uh, forgot to move it over. We've got a Nike shirt. This is actually single stitched. And uh, just a cool graphic. Just do it. Nike, I took an offer. They got a screaming good deal on this one. 15 bucks plus shipping. So um, not too bad. Right, I mean, it means some cool things. Um, again, some of the uh, things that we just listed are selling quickly, and uh, I like seeing that. Uh, it means uh, I'm I'm growing up <laughs> as a picker. Uh, you know, it, it's good to see those things sell right away. You know, that that's the key to uh, t is to reselling. I think is is moving things through your store uh, for the most part quickly. We've talked in other videos. It's okay to have some long tail items, but most of your stuff you want moving through very quickly. You're, you're not a storage facility or you don't want to be. You want to be turning that stuff around. And uh, you never know when a, a big deal might be around the corner. You know, we went and bought a bunch of comics uh, here a few days ago. You got to have the capital to be able to do that. In order to get that, you got to sell stuff, right? So turn that stuff over. Use your money to make more money. Guys, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. See you next time.